Hi guys, this is Narayan. I come here to make a uh, degree in electronics and communication engineering. Also, I uh, just into this particular into this training field for last five years. So I am uh, specified and specialized in uh, Cisco, uh, Cisco especially. So over there I used to try in CCNA and uh, CCNP and IE. As well as in CCNA and NP, we have, as you know, we have different domains for that: routing and switching, security, wireless, and also data centers. So over here, I need to explain the basics of networking. So what do you mean by networking? Networking in the sense, it's a data sharing and communication between the devices. So over here, we need to know how is communication possible between the devices. So there is a particular standardization which they are using for sharing the data. So as you know before, as you have completed in degrees and all those things, you know you, are, you might have heard about this OSM model and TCP. So this particular standardization is used for the communication. We are covering in the networking strategies as per whole in CCNA before entering to CCNA we used to do this is uh, basics of networking which is called N plus. So here we used to study this OSA model, TCP IP and IP address and subnetics. Then moving forward to CCNA first we need to go for routing and switching. In switching we used to have different multiple topics over here as of VLANs, trunking and inter VLAN and also we need to know what is the difference between L2 and L3 switches. So in our class we will focus on the based on IT oriented how the IT environment works how the process and what are the different layers working on this particular infrastructure so it is better for you to learn like this to know the clear architecture of a network environment so you might have known there is different types of layers used in different IT industries okay some of the commonly in all the IT industries they are using the, this particular layer which are called access layer, distribution layer and core layer. So we need to know what are the devices are involved in this particular layers. So as I told you before, we are able to know this particular infrastructure and the architecture of the entire network based on this routing and switching as well as going forward we can also learn more detail about firewalls and wireless. So as you know there is a new syllabus is comes on for CCNA which is revised by Cisco team. So over here you have a good infrastructure knowledge also architecture knowledge also involved in this particular syllabus and also a new feature a new device which is called DNA which is also involved in this we can still able to learn the basics